Hello viewers, I am Dr. Mala Das Sharma, retired professor of St. Pius 10th degree and PG College for Women, Hyderabad. Welcome to my channel Kim Philly. Let's start 45th episode of Teaching Chemistry Through Riddle. Here is our riddle number 45 which goes like this. P and Q are two name reactions of organic chemistry. Both are redox reactions. Both the reactions are found in a particular class of compounds they are and the products of both the reactions are same. The reaction P occurs in actual compounds whereas Q is the reaction of a derivative say S of the parent's compounds. The derivative S is the result of a condensation reaction between R and a derivative of ammonia. So this is our riddle number 45. Now let's see the questions. First question is what are P and Q? The answer is P is Clemensen reduction, Q is Ulf Kishner reduction. Second question Which class of compounds is referred by R? Answer is carbonyl compounds. Third question Which derivative of carbonyl compounds is referred by S? The answer is hydrazone derivative. Fourth question. Show the pathway of the formation of the hydrazone derivative of carbonyl compounds. See, carbonyl compounds undergo a condensation reaction with derivative of ammonia like hydroxylamine, hydrazine, phenylhydrazine, semicarboxide, etc. and whereby the condensation reaction takes place that is addition followed by removal of smaller molecule. Here the smaller molecule is water. That means addition followed by removal of this water molecule. See, this is ethanol and this is hydrazine. What happened actually in the reaction? This oxygen atom of the carbonyl compounds and the two hydrogen atoms which is attached to the nitrogen atom of this ammonia derivative, they are removed as water. And this carbonyl carbon atom and the nitrogen atom from which two hydrogen atoms are removed, they join by double bond. Then this derivative is hydrazone derivatives. This is ethanol hydrazone. Similarly, this is propanone. Here also this oxygen atom of the carbonyl compound or acetone and this two hydrogen atom of this hydrazine removed as water. And finally, what you have got? This carbonyl carbon atom attached to this nitrogen atom by double bond and that is propanone hydrazone or hydrazone derivative of propanone. Now let's see the mechanism. What happened? In this hydrazine, this nitrogen atom has lone pair of electron. Through this lone pair of electron, it attacks this carbonyl carbon atom. So this is a nucleophilic attack and this pi bond between carbon and oxygen shifted to oxygen. Then what is the result? This oxygen atom gets negative charge and the positive charge is developed in this nitrogen atom of this hydrazine molecule. Now what happened? This nitrogen hydrogen bonded electron pair will be shifted to this nitrogen so that this positive charge on nitrogen atom gets neutralized and this H plus will be attached to this negatively charged oxygen. Now what will happen? This OH and this hydrogen will be removed as water. How? 
again this nitrogen hydrogen bonded electron pair will be shifted to nitrogen and then this hydrogen will be removed as H plus that H plus will come to this lone pair of electron of oxygen so here it will be OH2 and oxygen will develop the positive charge then what happened this carbon oxygen bonded electron pair shifted here so this part will be removed as water and this lone pair of electron because this bonded electron pair shifted to nitrogen so nitrogen develop negative charge so this lone pair of electron will form a double bond between this nitrogen and carbon okay so finally the molecule is this carbon carbonyl carbon atom joined with this nitrogen by double bond and water is removed fifth question what is Clemenson reduction? So the path followed by the reaction. So Clemenson reduction. We know that carbonyl compounds generally they reduce to this alcohol. The series is like this. Car alcohol oxidized to carbonyl compounds and carbonyl compounds oxidize to carboxylic acid. And the reverse one Carboxylic acid reduced to carbonyl compound and then finally carbonyl compound reduced to alcohol. But, in, but by Clemenson reduction, carbonyl compound is directly reduced to saturated hydrocarbons or alkene. Here the reducing agent is zinc amalgam hydrochloric acid. So this carbonyl compound R C double bond O R it is directly reduced to alkene so R C H two R. So this is ethanol or acetaldehyde by this reagent of the Clemenson reduction that is zinc amalgam hydrochloric acid ethane is formed. Similarly from acetone propane will be formed. Now let's see the mechanism. See. This metal, metal will provide two electrons to this carbon, carbonyl carbon atom and this pi bond between carbon and oxygen shifted to oxygen. So if the pi bond shifted to oxygen, carbon will develop the positive charge. But it is receiving two electrons from the metal. So one electron will neutralize the positive charge and another electron make the carbon atom negatively charged. And this oxygen atom was negatively charged, then it will take the H plus from hydrochloric acid. Now what happened? As carbon is negatively charged, one H plus will be attached to this negatively charged carbon atom. And then another H plus from this hydrochloric acid will be attached to this lone pair of electron of this oxygen. So here it is OH2 and oxygen is positively charged. Now definitely what will happen? Water will be removed. If the water is removed, carbon will develop once again positive charge. Again this metal will provide two electrons. One electron neutralizes the positive charge and another electron makes the carbon negative. So it will take another H plus from the acid and finally it forms the alkene. So this is the mechanism of the reaction. So sixth question. What is Wolf Kistner reduction? Show the reaction pathway. Now, in Clemenson reduction, we have observed carbonyl compounds reduced to directly reduced to alkene. In Wolf Kistner reduction, also carbonyl compound is reduced to alkene, but the reduction does not take place directly to the carbonyl compounds. The reduction occurs with the hydrazone derivative of the carbonyl compounds. When the hydrazone derivative of the carbonyl compound is heated with base, then corresponding alkane is formed. That means finally the carbonyl compound is reduced to alkane. So here you see this is ketone. When it is treated with this hydrazine, as I told you, this oxygen atom of this carbonyl group and this two hydrogen of this hydrogen removed as water. And this carbonyl carbon and this nitrogen will be joined by double bond. So this is hydrazone derivative. When it is heated with base, we will get the 
saturated hydrocarbons. Now let's see the mechanism. So this is the ketone. We have taken carbonyl compounds which reacts with hydrazine to form this hydrazone derivative. Now it is heated with base. Base will take this hydrogen. So this nitrogen will develop the negative charge. Then what will happen? This negative charge will form a bond between these two nitrogen atoms and this pi bond between nitrogen and carbon will be shifted to this carbon. So carbon will become negatively charged. So it will take one H plus from water. And then again what happens? Same thing will be repeated. Again the base will take this hydrogen and the nitrogen will become negatively charged. And then this negative charge will form it another pi bond between these two nitrogen atoms and this carbon-nitrogen bonded electron pair shifted to carbon. So from here nitrogen is evolved and from this OH- and H+, water is removed. Now this carbon become negatively charged. It will take one H plus from water and finally this hydrocarbon is formed. So this is the mechanism of wolf isner reduction. So what we have observed that in Clemensian reduction and wolf isner reduction, both the cases carbonyl compounds is converted to alkene. Only difference is in Clemensian reduction, the reduction directly takes place with the carbonyl compound, but in wolf isner reduction, the reduction occurs in the hydrazone derivative of the carbonyl compounds. So with this, we have come to the end of this video. Thank you.